Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your boy SD Booker. Good day, fellas. Good day. Today's topic, Derek Jackson. I want to get my take on that whole fiasco with Derek Jackson. And it's probably going to be a different take than what you're seeing out there on YouTube or IG or Facebook. I'm a bit objective, and I like to think uh, of things, or think on things from a 360 view. So, let's get at it. <clears throat> now, I first heard the name Derrick Jackson about five or six years ago. Uh, my wife and I were at the home uh, of Ebony and Jason. It was a gathering of many people there. Uh, fun night, drinking, eating, playing games. And someone came out with a card game and said, this is uh, Derrick Jackson's card game. I never heard of the guy. So ironically, or maybe this is just how the universe works, or since I heard the name, it was kind of in my subconscious and on my radar. So after that, I came across the name again on Facebook and it was a video that a lot of women were responding to and, and basically this guy was pandering to women putting them on a pedestal and berating men and really talking down on men so from there I was like I ain't digging this dude right off the bat I was like, I ain't digging this dude and so I never listened to another video or tapped on another video uh, since then man that was five or six years ago I just you know and I would hear his name of course or see his name but I never listened to another video just wasn't my cup of tea or my kind of guy I like to rock with so you know we, we fast forward You know, Derek gets caught up in the situation where uh, YouTube, uh, YouTuber, or YouTube uh, extraordinaire, Tasha K, exposed some infidelity concerning Derek Jackson. Now, man, there's, there's, there's so much to dig into on this. Um, for one Derrick Jackson kind of laid the groundwork or, or uh, set the stage for this to happen because as I said before when I first came across him he was really talking down on men and holding women to a pedestal and basically you know, portraying himself to be above certain things as far as infidelity, um, any kind of abuse, any kind of neglect. He's portraying himself to be the ideal guy. And women fell for it. Not all women, but a lot of women fell for it. Because, you know, that's, that's one thing that's one way you can get women on your side by just telling them what they want to hear. Hey man, oldest trick in the book. Tell them what they want to hear, they'll flock. Especially if you're a decent to good looking man, they'll flock to you. So that's one reason he began to have this big following. You know, dark brothers, buff, and he's telling them what they want to hear, and he's articulate. Hey man, candy in his hand. And so a lot of women fell for it. Now, I'm proud to say my wife didn't fall for it, you know. And I wasn't one of those guys that uh, was talking down on Derry Jackson. Yeah, I, I never talked down on a man uh, to my wife or in my home. Because really, man, you're giving that man energy. And you're making your wife draw to him more and make her more curious. 
So they just say my style to talk down on a man. But she saw it for what it was. She was like, man, this something ain't right with this guy. So I just I got I kept quiet. And I'm just listening to him, watching her. So, you know, she really never truly knew how I felt about the guy. But I'm watching her, I'm listening. You know, see see where she, see where her head's at. So I'm proud to say my wife didn't fall for it. But the thing with that, how Derrick Jackson set the stage for Tashi K or any of these women that he dealt with to come back on him and uh, expose him, so to speak, is because his take was not balanced, right? He had women to a high standard pedestal and he berated men you know he, he excluded himself from that pack but as a whole he berated men and so he put women up here put men below them and he was pandering right and when you do that when you judge and say what you wouldn't do and uh, what men should be doing and you come from a judgmental standpoint, you got to be very careful. You got to be very careful, man, because the way it works, the universe, God, whatever, will make sure things are back balanced, right? So it, you'll be exposed or you'll be tempted with certain things. And if you fail, you'll be exposed, all right? And so that's what happened. The things he were he was preaching against, he was doing himself. And he was passionate about it. And I always question people or sit back and watch people who are so passionate about certain things, man. And um, from a negative standpoint, you know, if you're passionate about something from a positive standpoint, that's to be applauded. But I really sit back and watch people who are so passionate from a negative standpoint. So people who are like, F white people, or F black people, or F the Mex Mexicans. Man, I always sit back and say, something in their closet that hasn't been exposed yet, and this is why they're so passionate about this. Or, kill the gays and then I just sit back and watch and then you'll find out man <laughs> that brother <laughs> be on the DL or or this guy who's pandering like Derrick Jackson you know no matter what a woman does she could do no wrong treat her like a queen all women are queens men shouldn't do this I have no sympathy for a man who cheats this is his jargon. These words out of his mouth. And he's so passionate about it, right? And I always thought, man, something is in this brother's closet. But what, what man really goes at other men like this? And, and panders to women like this? You know, something, something is wrong. Something's going on. And lo and behold, you know, it, it came out. Now, uh, I take no pleasure and Derry Jackson going through what he's going through. Because once again, I'll be no better than he is. Right? I'll be unbalanced. Right? And another reason I take no pleasure, because this is how I look at life. One of the ways I look at life. I am you and you are me. We may just be in different stages or phases of life. Right? Meaning... I either was in your position or I had your weakness in the earlier part of my life or in another life or I'm where you're at now or I'm where you're going to be and, and vice versa. So that's why I hold no one above me and I hold no one below me. I look at everybody eye to eye. I idolize no one. I'm a fan of no one. And I'm not above anyone. I, I look at every man eye to eye. I don't care who, who you are. The President of the United States. The janitor. 
at the local elementary school. Everyone's eye to eye. And so I am you, you and me. That's how I look at it. And so you got to be very careful when you judge because to judge is to judge yourself, man. You got to you got to be able to withstand that judgment that you are sending out cuz it's going to reflect back to you. All right? Now that doesn't mean uh to not have discernment or you got to be friends with everyone. It doesn't mean that have discernment and know when to separate yourself from people. But that's having discernment and that's not judging, looking down upon. Right? Putting someone in the 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 fires of hell. That's just having discernment and saying, you know what, I need to stay away from this person. So it doesn't matter if a person's on drugs or, or a person living a lifestyle you don't agree with, or you don't agree with their morals morals. Don't judge. Because you'll be judged the same way, meaning don't look down upon them. Don't ridicule. You know, don't send them into damnation. Just have discernment, separate yourself with love. Right? You can detach, separate yourself with love and righteousness. But, you know, you don't have to be friends, but you don't have to judge either. And that's where Derek Jackson messed up. Right? So, you know, never was a supporter. Uh, like I said, I'm a fan of no man, but I never was a supporter of his. Never agreed with his stance. And, uh, you know, I don't feel sorry that he's going through this. But I take no pleasure in it either. And I'm balanced with it. Things are things will happen however they are set to happen. So that's that's one of the takes on it. Another take on it that it's not really being addressed is these women knew he was married. Right? So fellas, you gotta understand, women or men are not equally held accountable. Now, you know, you can try to force us to be equally held accountable, and you can listen to these feminists, or whatever, man, these betas, beta men, feminist women, but it's never going to be that way. We're, we're meant to be a patriarchal society. Men are always going to be held accountable to a higher standard. You know, I'm not a Bible thumper, but I do believe in the principles of the Bible and I believe the stories in the Bible are relatable to what we are to experience or will experience in this life Adam was held at a higher accountability than Eve and you see that playing out right here with Derrick Jackson no one's criticizing or ridiculing these women or coming down on these women for messing with a married man alright it takes two to tangle so that's the other side of that so brothers, you know, protect yourself. Don't think you're gonna be held accountable at the same level as a woman. And you shouldn't be. I, I, I like being a man. I like being held accountable at a higher standard. I love it. So uh, that's just, that's a, that's a number two take on it. Uh, another take on it is, you know, brothers, uh, just be honest, man. Just be honest. Not only that, he was honest about being married, but what I think where he messed up also is uh, never give a woman leverage over you, man. Never uh, talk down on your relationship uh, with your wife. Never talk down on your wife to another woman. Never empower that woman over your wife. If you're dealing with that woman, you deal with that woman on um, between you guys, your, your terms, but never talk down on your relationship or your wife. That's a that's a no no. And so he empowered these women, he gave these women confidence, and uh, yeah, empowered them. And so where they had, they felt like they had leverage over the wife. You know, he's telling them they're going through problems. He's telling the woman he doesn't like the his sex of his wife. That's no no. You know what I'm saying? That's simping. Once again, it doesn't surprise me though because that's been his platform. That that's been his claim to fame, pandering to women. So it doesn't surprise me like in his private life, he would talk down on his wife. You know, that's a sign of insecurity. 
and that's that's beta male tendencies also. So, you know, uh, realistically, he probably could have came to his wife and 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 said, "Hey, how about not having how about having another female in a relationship?" Probably could have tried that. You never know. But insecurity or want to control the narrative, want to manipulate, he didn't want to take that route. So, um, yeah. But uh, that's my take. Yeah, that's my, my 360 view on it. And, uh, yeah, just, hey, man, stick to the code. Don't pander to the women. And you don't have to talk down on women, but definitely don't pander to them. Don't talk down on your brothers. And stay balanced because, man, what goes around comes around, man. And the energy you send out, it's going to come right back onto you. You'll be exposed. So if you look at any of my videos, you know, I don't talk down to men. I don't, uh, I don't hide uh, some of my failures. And it's in the book, A Toast to the Man. You know, I share a lot of failures, a, a lot of hiccups uh, that I've encountered in life. So I was very transparent. And so, man, it's not really too much uh, anyone can come out on me about. Uh, I shared a lot. And uh, I don't live in shame. So, I mean, that's the main thing. But the main thing, I don't judge. So, I'm not acting like I'm bigger than anyone. I don't judge. I don't hang with everyone either. I won't befriend everyone either. I have discernment. But I'm not going to look down on you. And I don't, I'm not going to look up to you. So you can never disappoint me either. I've never had an idol. I've never... Uh, and I was a guy that was passionate about basketball, but I never idolized anyone. Not Jordan, not Bird, not Magic. No one. I respected the game. And I've always known how to separate the skill and the talent from the man. So I've never idolized a man, right? I respect all men. And so, you know, no one, no man has ever let me down because I've never idolized a man. And, uh, and that comes natural to me. Now, you know, throughout my life, I, I did have to be conscious of not looking down on man because uh, I didn't agree with the lifestyle morally. Or I didn't agree. I didn't agree. Uh, I didn't agree with what they were doing with their lives. So I had to be conscious of that and realize either I was them, or if I don't have compassion, I might have to experience what they're experiencing to have compassion, to learn compassion, and feel their pain and feel their agony. So, man, I'm very careful about that, about that judging, because. I don't even want to have to experience certain things, man. I don't want to come back to this life you know, because I didn't have compassion. And I judge gays. Now I got to come back gay. Or I judge women harshly. I was hard on women. Now I got to come back as a woman and experience that life as a woman. And I'm good like this as a man. Now, if I want to come back, I'm going to come back as a man. <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't want to have to come back to certain things uh, or an animal or tree because I didn't have compassion so um, yeah man be careful don't judge cause man it will come back on you like it did this gentleman so um, I know this is a different take not attacking them not lifting them up you know not supporting them I just have a balanced view man that's my life uh, I got another page the, object, the objective introvert and so that's me in a nutshell man the objective introvert and so uh, that's my take on it, brothers. Peace.